Good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just on my way now to Kanangra to do the Kokoda Legacy event. It is tomorrow. It's currently a bit after 1 p.m. on Friday. So I'm heading up to Kanangra today. I'm going to be uh, camping there overnight because the event starts tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and they do want us to be there uh, like one and a half hours before that, so like 5.30 just to do like pre-registration and they're gonna have a small service in the morning for Remembrance Day before the event starts. I'm actually gonna be meeting up with someone who uh, was a group leader in the Kokoda Youth Program when I was in it from uh, back in 2017. I haven't seen him since finishing that program or since the end of the program, so uh, quite a few years. I always have these feelings of just uh, a bit of apprehension and some, with a bit of sadness actually. Yeah, it's interesting. Before I, I find that before I do something that I enjoy, like before a hike or before traveling or doing anything that I really enjoy, I always have this sense of sadness and feel a bit of apprehension towards doing it. Beforehand, I don't know why, it's just I always feel that way and it's today's no different. The past few days have been good, I've been enjoying myself, I've been doing, I really like the training hikes, but yeah, interestingly, even before those hikes, I always have this, the same the same feeling, I don't know, I don't quite know why, but I've learned over the years to just, well, not ignore it, but like, not really, not pay that much attention to it, and its feelings will come and go, you don't have to always try to understand or process them or pay attention, it's... to the town of Kanunga where I need to be. There's some dark clouds uh, in the distance, uh, signs of a storm blowing in. I was just talking to some people, they said yeah we're meant to get some uh, storm and rains overnight which is not the best sign because yeah that would make, mean the event tomorrow is going to be very muddy. So we'll see. we'll see, I'll be camping out in my car. I've done some of these Kokoda events in the past, never never this 30 kilometer one, but in the past uh, for the Kokoda challenge, I've done the both the 48 kilometer and uh, 96. And every single time I do these events, it ends up raining, like a storm or something blows in. And uh, this event, it's taking place right now and we're getting into, we're getting into summer, so it's storm season. So it's pretty normal to get storms this time of year, but in the middle of winter when the other events take place, that's winter's meant to be the drier season here.
right. Don't know how well you can see me right now, but I'm currently camped out in my car. It's actually very comfortable in here. I've just been messing around a little bit with the setup. I've got a nice foam mattress. Uh, I'll show you the whole setup I've got going uh, when there's light tomorrow. This is a beta test of car camping and I think I'm really going to enjoy it. I really want to do more of this in the future. There'll be more videos coming of that for sure. But yeah, tomorrow's the event. Looking forward to it. I had a good day today. Uh, I had a nice slow drive out here. It was only about two hours or so, so not much, not much at all. But I had a nice dinner. I'm feeling good energy wise right now. It's the end of the day. I'm going to try and get as much sleep as possible. So good night. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. I'm just about to head off. I had a very good night sleeping in the car, slept very well. I'm quite happy with how this setup is going in the back. I'll have to show you guys another time because I've got to head off quickly to the event. Um, yeah, today's the day. Let's do it. Woof, we have completed the Kokoda Legacy event in 30 kilometers. It took me six hours, 59 minutes. It's currently almost 2.30 p.m. and I'm just on the road home. I've left the GoPro here as a dash cam. I didn't end up taking the camera in because yeah, the whole thing takes place in a, a military, active military base. And yeah, I didn't really feel it today anyway in terms of filming. I just wanted to focus on the challenge, enjoy it and complete it. So it's done. I'm very happy with how I went. Six hours, 59 minutes to do 30 kilometers. That's, that's a really decent pace. I'm very happy with that. Uh, overall, it was, it wasn't too bad, honestly. In the second half, it was definitely harder. There, there was one hill that called Heartbreak Hill, which that, that killed everyone. And after that hill, I had a short five minute break where I lay down a bit. It was a really tough hill, like 500 meters of climbing nonstop, like three kilometers, just a pure uphill. So it really dragged on. But apart from that heartbreak hill and there was one other larger hill towards the beginning, apart from that, it, with the terrain itself was not too bad. In the past, I've done uh, other Kokoda events. I've done the 48 kilometer uh, challenge in the past and also the 96 kilometer as a part of the Kokoda youth program. Now granted, my, I haven't gotten much training at all hike so my um, I would say I have a de I have a decent level of fitness now I'm very happy with how I performed but I'm not at the level that I was when I did the 48 and the 96 if I really really had to push myself I could pull off 48 kilometers today if I had to but 96 that would be that would be pushing it just imagine doing that three times three times over and then some that would be a lot but overall I'm I'm in good spirits. I haven't went how I went. I enjoyed myself. Uh, it was very interesting. The all the other Kokoda events that I've done hikes have been in groups. Of course, I was in the Kokoda Youth Program, which was a largish group. And yeah, then when I did the 48, I did that with a school team that was back in 2016. So this is the first time doing a Kokoda event as an individual. It was me. I didn't know. I didn't know anyone there. I occasionally talked, some talked with a few people, but for the most part, apart from that, I did the whole thing solo. And it was a very different experience to the other events. That's for sure because you you set your own pace, um, which that's nice. But at the same time, you have to be disciplined, and you've got no one there, like no one directly there. To encourage you along the way like sometimes like teams teams can be challenging especially if people are at different levels of fitness and there might be a slower group member or whatever in terms of setting pace whereas when you're doing it solo then you set your own pace but then again it's also very possible that on your own even though you set your own pace 
no one there directly to motivate you. So in those low moments, like especially when I was climbing up that hill, I, I never had moments where I wanted to give up or anything. It's, I've done I've done tougher hikes than this. I, I'm not saying that to brag. It's just that, that, that's just a fact. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've done anything like this, and I very much enjoyed it. I want to keep doing more hikes over the coming months. I want to really keep. In a way pushing myself, in a way not really. For me hiking is not really about pushing the limits of my endurance, it's more so just doing something that I enjoy. And events like this, they can be tough physically, but I enjoy them, so yeah, I don't I don't see it as a like like I know I know some people who do these challenges, they just view that view it as that, like a challenge, something that you won't enjoy, but they just want to do it maybe for the um, just to say for the accomplishment and to say that they've been able to complete it. So, yeah, that's about it. I'll do a, once I've had some time to process it, I want to sit down and do a, just a bit of a reflection and breakdown of how the hike went, what exactly happened. And yeah, I think even if I were, even if there would be no problems really filming as such, I, I still don't think I would have, like, this sort of event, like it's, yeah, it's just, I just wanted to focus on the event. I didn't feel like feeling so. There'll be plenty more hikes that I will do for sure, and also get into get more into car camping. So last night I slept in my car for the first time. Ben, well, not the first time, but the first time in my current setup, and I really enjoyed it. It was nice, nice and comfortable. So there's going to be a lot of changes coming to this channel. I'm not going to be doing self improvement content much anymore. I'm mostly focused on really living life to the fullest and doing, showing myself doing what I want to actually do rather than just talking about things. So I enjoyed it. I'm happy with how it went. Legacy. It was a very successful event. I'm very happy with how it went. I managed to complete the 30 kilometers going through Kokoda Barracks in near Kanangra. And yeah, let's do a quick recap. So first of all, thank you to everyone who has donated. So far I've raised over $200 for uh, Gold Coast Legacy and the Kokoda Youth Foundation. So thank you kindly to everyone who has donated. The link is still open for anyone else who wants to chip in. I really wasn't feeling it yesterday in terms of filming. Even if it was at a different location, I wouldn't really have wanted to film it anyway. It was because, I mean, it's a big event. It's not like a leisurely stroll in the park like my other hikes have been. I mean, I've carried a heavy pack and all of that on the other hikes for some training, but for the most part, I was going at my own pace. I was just out enjoying myself. It was like a it was more of a leisurely walk rather than an intense hike. Whereas yesterday, it was a it was 30 kilometers, and I'm very happy with how I managed. I completed the 30 kilometers in six hours, 59 minutes, so just slightly under seven hours. So we'll say seven hours. 30 divided by that, that's like, yeah, four and a half kilometers an hour, which that's a very good pace. Basically new back into the game now. So even though 30 kilometers is shorter than any of the events I did before, it, it was a tough trail, it was. The event, the, it was a tough trail for sure. The, some of the terrain in the Kokoda Barracks was definitely very tough though. But overall, I'm very happy with how I went. It was quite hilly and steep in a lot of sections. The first half was definitely easier. Uh, I had a few hills going up, I would say. There was two, two longer, steepish hills to climb. Uh, the first one wasn't too bad. It was probably only like two, three hundred meters of climbing over like, uh, kilometer or so 
uh, that wasn't too bad and there were quite a few ups and downs in total we did like 1500 meters of elevation gain uh, over those 30 kilometers but the second half that was where it really started to become much tougher but after the halfway mark that was when the first river crossing happened it wasn't too bad it didn't get above my like mid thigh which is lower compared to last year apparently last year with the event it was like to your up to your chest almost but given that we've had some very dry conditions uh yeah there wasn't that much water in it the night before uh, when i was staying in uh, Kanangra, uh we had that there was a storm that blew in and deposited a decent chunk of rain and yeah, I mean, it was really good. The area needed rain, but I was sort of thinking, oh, it's gonna make it a bit muddy and all of that. But yeah, given how dry it was, the ground really just soaked up that rain and didn't, wasn't too muddy in most sections. And in fact, on some of the steep slopes, it was actually good because some of the, it wasn't like ultra muddy where it was that slippery, but um, some of the dirt and soil had more compacted together. So it wasn't, that you had you know this loose soil loose gravel so when going downhill it made it easier I, f I found it i found it easier than it probably would have been otherwise and yeah that was some very steep sections so after the uh, first river crossing that's where we had heartbreak hill which that was a real killer that was where i really started to struggle the first half i was more or less fine but heartbreak hill well that everyone struggled on that i had a break at the top of that hill just a short five minute break to catch my breath Apart from that, I didn't have any breaks. I did all the checkpoints, I filled up my water if needed, and I just kept walking. I completed it much faster than I thought I would. I was, expe I was expecting, uh, with all the hills and all that, I was expecting Heartbreak Hill, I was expecting to finish in maybe like eight hours or so, but I shaved up pretty much an hour off that just by keeping on going. And it definitely was a different experience doing it this time individually as compared to a group because all the previous events before I've done as part of a group all the previous events I've been in I didn't finish I finished it, I finished them but I didn't finish at a particularly good pace I was happy I mean there was plenty of people who finished before me I wasn't running it or anything like some some people pretty much ran the whole thing which I, I find that crazy I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do that that's that's a bit beyond me of course anything's possible if you train up to it but Running? No thanks, I'm not that interested. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm more than content just hiking it. For me, doing these sort of events and just hiking in general is not so much about punishing myself or testing the limit of my endurance. It's more so just living a healthy lifestyle where I can be outdoors in nature, stay physically fit and just enjoy myself. It's not something that's meant to, that I want this to torture myself with. I mean, these events, like especially Heartbreak Hill and it's not allegedly stroll in the park, it's designed to be a challenge, right? So it was a challenge and I do like to challenge myself, but that's not my main goal with hiking. I went I'm not I'm not competitive about it. And this wasn't this wasn't a competitive event, but of course, you know, some people want to push themselves more and see how fast they can finish. I, I myself I wanted to finish in a decent pace, which I did. And what else? Apart from that, it was interesting to be inside those uh, barracks. I've actually been in there once before. I used to be, uh, back when I was in school, I was all, for a short time I was involved with um, yeah, the army cadets. I was in it for a few months and went for a camp to those ex exec those barracks. So there was a few sections that I thought uh, looked a bit familiar. Uh, but yeah, just a massive, it really, just walking through that, it really is quite massive that the, the whole the terrain, it's very dense, thick forest uh hilly mountainous and yeah just a very very harsh terrain luckily it wasn't too hot yesterday either it was 20 i think it was 20, 25 26 degrees so not not too hot and there was we had with the storm blowing in it was quite still quite cloudy the morning was a little bit fresh but yeah the day didn't get didn't get too hot and that which was really nice because that area being in the hinterland and also closer to the coast it's definitely a lot more humidity compared to out here where i live i much prefer cold to heat but i could tolerate heat if it's a dry heat but the humidity i really don't enjoy it at all it really can it really gets to me after a while so it wasn't luckily the heat wasn't too bad it was definitely very humid but not too hot so it made it more bearable and 
yeah, apart from that, so I drove there, stayed the, stayed the night in Kanangra, uh, did the event, and went home. Would have been cool to film it, but being in that location, I didn't want to film it. And even so, I just, that sort of event, I was, I was really just focused and determined on doing the event, participating, having fun, and yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to just, I just, I just didn't want to have to focus on vlogging and filming the whole thing really it's not it's I was just determined to finish it get set a good pace I didn't want to have to worry about fiddling with the camera you know putting it down getting this angle getting these shots no there's a lot of people around I just I just wanted to focus on finishing and there was there we've, there's already other hike hiking videos on the channel and there's gonna be plenty of hikes to come but I just wanted to share my thoughts on the event and just share with you how it all went and apart from that there's gonna be some more videos coming over the coming weeks I did my first time um, yeah, camping out in my car. I'm quite happy with the sort of setup I've got now. I'm, it's continue, it will continue to grow and evolve, no doubt, which I'll show, take you guys on that whole journey with me. But apart from that, I'm very happy with how I went. Uh, today, I'm actually feeling quite good. Energy levels are, well, I'm, I'm tired, but uh, I still have baseline energy. I'm not completely exhausted. I'm uh, not too sore either. The only thing I've sore is my shoulders a little bit and surprisingly my lower back and a bit of my core really. Like not, my legs are fine, my arms, it's, a, it's all fine really, apart from my, my core. And again, I think, I think the reason for that is because there were some very steep sections. Uh, I didn't use any hiking poles, which everyone was highly recommending to use them, but I just didn't use hiking poles. Some of the steep sections, climbing and especially descending, would have been very useful to have hiking poles, but I didn't, so I found myself just grabbing on, like occasionally grabbing on grass or just tr uh, like trees and stuff like that, just meandering my way downhill. Really, when going downhill like that, you use a lot of your core muscles that otherwise don't get used. So that's the only part, that's the only uh, aches and pains that I really have. But apart from that, I'm gonna recover quite quickly from this. It wasn't an absolute killer like the 96K when I did that uh, a few years back. And yeah, even the 48 when I first did that, that uh, took it out of me quite a bit as well. I feel like if there was a, if this was a longer hike, like even like a 40 to 48K, I think if I, if I had to, I could have pushed myself to even go further, like do a 40. I could, I could, I could honestly have seen myself going uh, going to like 48 kilometers. 96 would be probably pushing it. I would definitely, definitely need more training for that. But 48, I could have seen myself yesterday continuing on for another 18 kilometers and getting to like 48 kilometer uh, distance. But alas, 30 was the max available for this event. So I was very happy with how it went. Anyway, that's about it. I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a like and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.